Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Tyan Tomcat H1000S AM2 motherboard. Included is the user's manual, driver CD, an IDE and floppy cable, two serial ATA adapters, four serial ATA drive cables, an IO shield plate, the CPU retention frame, and the motherboard. This motherboard is based on the Broadcom HT1000 chipset and supports the AMD AM2 and AM2 Opteron 1000 series processors. It accepts up to 8GB of ECC or non-ECC unbuffered DDR2 memory. The board has 7 fan headers, 3 right here, 1 here, and 3 more at the bottom. There is one IDE connector, a floppy connector, four serial ATA connectors. The board also has Broadcom RAID Core RAID controller capable of RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10. Additionally, there is a so dim socket for additional optional SAS, serial ATA, or SCSI support. This board also comes with passive cooling on the chipset. Here are the four standard PCI slots and the 64-bit PCI extended slot. There are also two main motherboard connections, the 24-pin and the 8-pin. This product has a number of onboard features, two LAN ports, VGA, two COM ports, one external and one internal, two USB ports, and the PS2 keyboard and mouse connectors. The BIOS has a number of features. Let me quickly go through the main ones. The main area shows the basic information and is where the time and date can be set. The advanced area has the CPU, IDE, floppy, super IO, serial ATA, ACPI, event log, hardware health, MPS, remote access, USB, device, and PCI slots configurations. Next is the PCI plug and play area. The boot area is where you can configure the boot devices. The security area is where the passwords can be set. And finally, the chipset area is where the Northbridge and Southbridge can be configured. This motherboard has lots of excellent features, is stable, and it also performs very well, but doesn't have any overclocking options. So it's really intended for somebody who wants to have a non-overclock system in a home environment or the workstation or server environment, which it really is intended for. But overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop to my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care. Hello! Hello, hello! Hello again! Hello! With seven fan headers, three, three, four, five, six. In the bio. So, if you're not in overclock, call lock in environment. Overall though, this is an ah, shan of a